What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Yo, big news out of uh, North Carolina. Shout out Charlotte and uh, Southern Pines and what's this other place where this guy James Dunmore is held up at? Uh, Y'all know what I'm saying, but shout out to the whole North Carolina area. But check it out. Good news in Alicia Watts case. It's been uh, determined today in the court hearing for accused killer of Alicia Watts, James Dunmore, that he will remain in jail and he will get no bond reduction. Here's the story. Let's go. New developments. The man charged with killing Alicia Watts will likely stay behind bars. We first reported at noon, a judge denied a motion to reduce James Dunmore's $1 million bond. Alicia Watts was last seen at Dunmore's apartment in University City last July. Her body was found weeks later in a pond in Montgomery County. Channel 9's Erica Jackson was in the courtroom for today's hearing and spoke with some of Alicia's loved ones. James Dunmore's attorney asked the judge to change his bond from $1 million secured to unsecured. She called the move unusual, but said Alicia Watts's autopsy results were also unusual. Judge Taylor Brown denied her request and ultimately ruled to keep his bond as is. Alicia Watts! Alicia Watts's loved ones shouted at James Dunmore as he entered the Montgomery County Courthouse Monday morning. We leaving no stone unturned. We still have miles to go. More than two dozen of Watts's friends and relatives filled the courtroom as Dunmore, Watts's boyfriend and accused killer faced a judge. Cameras were not allowed inside, but I was there as Dunmore's attorney presented Watts's autopsy report, which lists her manner and cause of death as undetermined. The defense then asked Judge Taylor Brown to change the conditions of Dunmore's bond. That request denied, with the judge stating the autopsy results were likely due to the condition of Watts's remains. It's not over yet. We have to make sure he gets convicted and make sure he stays in jail. Watts's loved ones call the ruling a victory. I'll tell you right now, if it was one of us, she would be the one standing right here. While the medical examiner's reports were the center of the arguments today, Alicia Watts's loved ones believe prosecutors have more evidence that will work in their favor. James Dunmore is expected back in court here next month. In Montgomery County, Erica Jackson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. That's the news, and I knew about this as soon as the... Uh Court session was over earlier this morning, but I was waiting for a news excerpt so I can put it in there for people not familiar with the case. He ain't going nowhere. And as you can see, he's not too happy the way he laid in the police car covering his face with his legs in the air. Um, I think it's a good move. I think it's a deserving move. This guy right here. All signs point to him as being the one that's doing it, that, that did that to Alicia Watts, and he's not saying nothing about it. He's keeping his mouth closed. So be it. Now, he still is charged with murder and he'll stay in jail basically because he can't get out because the bond is so high that, uh, you know, he can't, you know, he's going to be stuck in there till trial. So they got to ready themselves for the defense. And that's a good thing. Uh, what else can I say? Some of the stuff they said that happened in court today, they said uh, both lawyers tried to make, uh, you know, well, the defense tried to make you know, compelling uh, reasoning for him to get out of court. Hey, you ain't got no evidence. Le let him out. Release him right now. Didn't fly. Judge wasn't feeling it. The uh, prosecuting lawyer or the prosecutor was like, yo, no, 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 no. And then gave a, you know, they didn't give me no particulars, but they said what he said was compelling. And the judge found favor in what the prosecutor said. So he's still stuck there. That was the news on that. We'll see where this goes. But I mean, either way, he's going to have to get in front of the court and he's going to have to eventually speak. Because now if you go to trial and you have a, a lawyer, your lawyer just talk for you and you already lost the bond hearing, that's one zero, Z zero and one right there. He's going to have to say something. Stuff is going to be, I mean, he can be selling all he want in jail. Let's, let, let's, let's be honest. He can be selling all he want. 
He don't have to cooperate or nothing. But if they have a trial, because it's a lot of mysteries that's unsolved. Autopsy report. Don't know how she died. Don't know none of this stuff. Only way they can get that is out of him. He's not cooperating. They're not going to offer him a deal. They're not. They're not because this guy is sitting up there. He's holding his cards close to his vest. And they, they're going to they're going to make they're going to get some something out of this. This was a big case. This was a very big case. Charlotte Mecklenburg police got under uh came under scrutiny. The family is showing uh a lot of support. Supposedly they cussed him out when, when they do the prisoner intake and in back of the building. It was women back there waiting, cussing his behind out as he got in the car. <laughs> so they serious about it. I mean, the impact she had on a lot of people, they sticking by. They want to see justice. I do too. And um, we'll see what happens with that. Like I'll be in Charlotte next week for a few days. And uh, I'll talk with some of the members of the family, see what's going on with them, checking on them. And uh, I'll have some more about the case. But for now, he's not getting out, y'all. And I mean, it's just, just the part of it, just him being in court. You sitting there in silence. The way your lawyer, if your lawyer couldn't get you out now, you might be forced to take the stand and say something in front of a bunch of people that know you. See, this is the thing, guys, in the neighborhood, like I've been to his house. And all of that, and like I know people that live like right where he's at, like almost across the street. And um, he's going to have to look these people in the face. Knowing that they know he was dating their relatives, they've been around this man. He got to look them in the face and act like he don't know, like, like he, and sit up there and act like he don't know nothing. You and her were seen leaving your house in her car. Y'all drove off waving to the people knowing she wasn't going to return with you. You had this elaborate scheme and did some of the stuff to her. That you threatened your ex-wife with. Body was found. You're going to have to say something. He is. He's going to have to say something. Whether it's I'm sorry or not. Eyes don't lie. You're going to have to fess up and look people in the eye that trusted you and accepted you because she did. Even though they had their own opinions about you. Only to have this be the ultimate fate. We'll see. We'll see how it go. But yeah, for now, he's not going nowhere. You saw him in the car with his legs up. Uh, I'll figure out when the trial is. Most likely I'll shoot back down there for that. God willing. And uh, we'll take it from there. We'll see this thing through and see how it turns out. Justice for Alicia Watts. As always, I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's a good day. It's a good day for the family of Alicia Watts. And hopefully she'll get the justice that she deserves because this dude right here is something else. I mean, you've got a history of beating on people and choking them and stalking them and all kind of crap. It's about time you get your, your due. And one more thing before I get out of here, I had to jump back in here real quick. One of the things that's crazy about this whole case is this guy took this, left with this woman. She's gone, can't find the body. He ain't explaining nothing while still living on the street with her people, her family and friends and acting like nothing happened. Who does that? Seriously, who does that? You was found in the car. They took the car for evidence. You go back home and try to act like nothing ever happened. You home, she not, and you left with her. I mean, this all adds up. I see why they ain't let his ass out. They're like, ah, this guy right here is stupid. He's stupid. He think we stupid. Nah, we ain't giving you no bond. Good. That's all I'm going to say about that. See you in the next video. Take care.